everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking everything Tiffin Motorhome. We got some new units for you, new floor plans, and we're talking everything that's new for 2024. And with me today is Mr. Lee Tiffin. Matt, how you doing, man? Welcome, welcome to the show. Glad to be here, glad you guys are at the Tiffin display. Now, who are you? Uh, I'm Lee Tiffin, I'm the president of our company, third generation uh, in the Tiffin family business, so we've been doing this a while. Are you going to be starting to sign the cabinets like your grandfather does? I don't know, we got to come up with a slogan that's a little different maybe. Okay, I mean, okay. He does the happy trail. Thing, so. You know, that is one thing that I always loved about looking in a Tiffin, opening up and sure. seeing, seeing your uh, grandfather's kind signature. kind of his signature deal, so I can't <clears throat> knock it off, right? Yeah, so tell everybody what's new for 2024, what, what, what's going on in Tiffin's world. Sure, so we got a lot of new excitement in our diesel lineup. I'm really proud of our Byway product. This is all new for 2024. Yep. Uh, this is actually our 38CL model, which is an awesome bath and a half, just loaded with storage. I love the sleek, kind of modern uh, exterior on this coach, 340 horsepower, ISB and uh, it's a full package. So is this in place of the Allegro Red 340? Correct, so this okay. has really replaced our Allegro Red 340, and I would tell you that it's it's the total Tiffin package, full quality, premium luxury, at one of our best diesel price points. Perfect, and, and that, that was really huge, um, because you had the Allegro Red, which was uh, on the Freightliner with the 360, and then you had like two floor plans called the Allegro Red 340, and were customers getting confused about the differences? A little bit, yeah. The Red 340 versus 360 yep. was always a point of confusion. Yep. Uh, there were some minor differences in the floor plans. Okay. So we actually came back and said, hey, let's just rebrand this thing as the Byway. Yep. Let's make it our price leading diesel. And let's give them everything they expect from a Tiffin and a price they can afford. I'll try it. Take a look at the inside. Oh, I'm excited to see this. So we actually debuted three new floor plans on the Byway. All Perfect. Right, let's all right, as soon as she guys. walks in, you can tell us. And then, are those off floor plans on the website? Uh, they will be as soon as they're not. Hey, okay, coming okay. in. Let's walk down here. You guys got this thing dialed in, huh? Dude, Bert. <laughs> Very pretty. The white so cabinetry. Like, awesome, like camping world in them. Yeah. And like then, billion dollar companies. Yeah. And it's just me and a half bath. Yeah. That's it. I love it. I love it. Cool, so uh, tell us a little bit about the byway. So what's what's going on here? Yeah. Because so it looks absolutely beautiful. Full wall slide in the 38CL. Okay. Wonderful bath and a half configuration with the double lab in the rear of the coach. I uh, love the washer dryer closet. Love the opposing television. Yes. Right, with our electric theater seating. Yes. So you got power headrest, power footrest. This TV goes up and down on a mechanism, so if you want natural light and you want more counter space, drop it down. You want to watch TV, put it up. Of course, we've got a huge, spacious galley in this coach. Uh, wonderful LG appliances, wooden I, refrigerator panels. For sure, I do yeah. love all the countertop space. That's huge, people are looking for the lighting. And can I compliment you on something? So, Tiffin has been notorious for the older fashion look on the inside. Right. And you guys have been killing it. Really, 2023, well, was it all year they've been killing it with their interior designs? It, yeah. you, you know what it was? It was like some products still had the older look that we didn't like, but then like you come into one and they would look like this. This right. is beautiful. Yeah. And in my opinion, which when I say opinion, as in I'm not writing you a check, <laughs> so an opinion's only an opinion. But my opinion, this is what people are looking for. Very well, fresh, right? Like, yeah, what airy. feedback have you guys been hearing? Uh, folks are loving it. Yeah, okay. they feel like we're coming into the 21st century. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Updating it for a more modern Well, country. you know, you are from Alabama. Yeah. Roll time. <laughs> you are eagle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, so, so. Uh, yeah, I'm loving this fridge look. Yep. So that's our, our uh, wooden reefer package. Yep. So it kind of matches the cabinetry, blends in really sleek. Um, this is pretty neat too. I love the washer dryer closet, full stackable oh, nice. here. Yeah, in the hallway. And then check out this storage. So we got a full length mirror in this half bathroom. Oh wow. But I really love the oh. storage. Full drawers, plenty of room for linens, all kinds of toiletries, whatever you need to take. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Now, now when I sit on the toilet and I make sure it's porcelain, do you know what I call that? What's that? Do you know do you know or no? I don't. Oh man, okay. Uh -oh. Let, let, let me sit on it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is where you do like your Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I sit on the toilet and the, and I say, Lee, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Got it. That is that really is nice. Yeah, it actually it really yeah. is one. Yeah. 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 You got plenty of room. 
Of course, spider multiplex, right? That's something Tiffin's known for. This has a full multiplex control package, so you can control lighting, fans, slide rooms, uh, your setting package, of course. All tank monitoring levels are on the on the uh, spider multiplex. Main nice. Panel too. Yeah. Very spacious bedroom here. Yeah. King size bed. It does not need to tilt up for the nope. for the slide outs to come in, which is really nice. Plenty of room around this king size bed, so no problem making the bed. Of course, we always have the storage underneath. And one thing that I would point out as a Tiffin Class A unique is we don't do Swintec slides. So these are all oh. hydraulic slides. So a lot of those problems folks encounter with electric in-wall slides, no more on Tiffin. What problems? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about. problems are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> I love the his and her wardrobe. So you got hanging space on each side. I like that it slides. Yeah, look at this bank of drawers. You got six huge drawers. Uh, my wife and I, we love this because yep. you can bring pictures for the family. You get some natural lighting in here. And then huge, huge bathroom, double lav, another linen closet, two medicine cabinets, um, 40 inch shower. So, I mean, this thing's just loaded with features. I Thanks. love it. Yeah. I love it. And you said that there's going to be, you, you have three floor plans of this? Three floor plans. So we've got our center bath coach that's under 35 feet. We call that the 33 FL. Uh, we're in the 38 CL, which is a full full body coach under 40 feet and then we also have a 33 BL coming out which is a two bathroom coach with bunks. Perfect and I don't see your gentleman over there. So uh, do you have time to show us one more? Absolutely. Okay um, and if you got to cut away just cut away. Business is always first. So um, with that said obviously this is the newest thing in hot. We're, we In this video we are going to take a look at all the Tiffins. Uh, a little taste of everything but your turn your corporate hat off what are you most excited about for 2024? Is it your boss? Is it the Phaeton? This is the two, Wayfair? Two coaches I want to show you. Okay. I want to show you our Phaeton and our Zephyr for okay. 2024. Well, hang on. I mean, Zephyrs, I mean, Zephyrs are <laughs> up there. Is we, General selling Zephyrs? No. Oh, we'll still take a look. Because you, you said Zephyr, Zephyr, we'll still take yeah, a look at yeah. And hey, listen, if you guys are ready to buy a Zephyr, we'll yeah. make a phone call. Yeah. No promises. <laughs> no promises. It'd be worth it. You have a yeah. fun. Okay. Yeah, come on. We're following Let's look at Phaeton first. You know, if anybody gives me a hard time about showing Zephyrs, I'm just going to say Lee showed us. <laughs> I mean, it was in the display. Right? It was in the display. We were there. We were there. Yeah. Um, Zephyrs. So I'm hearing, are Zephyrs hitting dealership lots? or Because I thought they were kind of like a custom order. Thing. They really are. Okay. You know, we, uh, we don't have any in field inventory. You can't get one. Oh, okay. Right so it's a custom. Yeah. yeah. All right. So two things about the Phaeton uh, that I really love. Of course, we totally redid the interior of this coach. That's what you're about to see in this 37 BH. Okay. But I also want to point out. Look at that. This year only, we are offering a midnight edition package. For nice. those customers that want a little bit edgier look with the blacked out wheels, the darker paint scheme, I think it's stealthy. Now, oh, have yeah. you, did you guys talk to Coachman about their midnight edition we back in not. 2017? We did not. So Coachman did it back in 2017, <laughs> and I love Coachman. Yeah. But yours, so, theirs didn't look good. Theirs made it look cheap. Yeah. That looks it's, good it's with the, the rims. Looks. And like, you gotta like kind of go all in on the midnight, you know? They only did like the wheels and it, it you know what it looked like? You know like when you, your aluminum hub cap comes off? Yep. That's what theirs no, looks like. Yeah. It's gotta coordinate and that's got, what we did. Yeah, okay, no, so that looks really good. Let's check out this BH. <clears throat> that actually does look good. And is the midnight only on the Phaeton? Yeah, only yep. on the Phaeton and the Allegro Bay, the Super C. See, it's funny, when, when, when I review a Tiffin, I call the Allegro bus like the king. Yeah. Right? Like, I am the king. I'm the Allegro bus. Mm -hmm. And I call the Phaeton like the knight. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. It's like, yeah, you know, I'm going to protect the yeah. king. Yeah. I don't well, know why. I think this that. thing's on par with, with the, the bus now. So this yeah. looks completely different. It does. Yeah, totally redone. Wow. Andrea, what, what, what are you thinking of these balances, Andrea? These, these are looking completely different. Now, don't lie to us just because Lee's here. Tell us your opinion. Because you know the viewers will fact check you when we review it. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, honestly, I like the balances. I like the colors. I just don't know about this. So are you so, going to leave it neutral? I'm leaving it neutral. Okay, okay. But I do like the color of the cabinetry. Oh, yeah, it I looks beautiful. It's really funny about browns, but I like this color because it looks really natural. Yeah. Yes. So this is our sandstone. It's more earthy, yeah. Our sandstone I natural do like wood that. tone. I love it to a great mid tone. Um, yeah, I think this thing's total package. I love the floor, high polished tile. Great looking countertop and backsplash combination with this wood. Wow. Uh, this coach just really. <clears throat> wow. This thing looks great. 
Yeah. Ceiling feature, all new for model year 24. Yeah. Now, I got a question, and I'm going to put you on the spot. And you might not know the answer, and we're not going to hold you to it. But I wouldn't be me if I didn't ask. Why are you guys doing carpet on your slide outs all the time? Because for us, that's always one of our dislikes. Yeah. So I want to hear it from yeah. you. Well, you'll notice in our Allegro bus lineup, okay, yeah. they're all tile slide floors. Yes. So uh, one of the things we have discussed is what are alternatives to carpet, right? Everybody knows the infinity woven materials out there. Okay, yeah. Uh, but for us, it's just kind of been a go-to, but again, less and less of it in the coach. And one of the things you'll notice on this 37BH is it's a super raised rail. So you've got a flush floor Correct. all the way to the back of yes. the vanity. Yes. Yeah. And then one thing that we really like uh, and appreciate about, appreciate about you and your team is, um, guys, Tiffin, they're, they're reading the comments. This look didn't just happen. Um, this wasn't just Lee right. or his team. This was feedback from you guys, the RV review crew. That's right. You guys commenting, this is what makes the changes. But please understand, you can't just comment your dislikes. You have to comment your likes. Because if you guys change something in here and that was somebody's like, but if you guys didn't comment on it, it might get changed one day in the future. So always leaving your feedback, that's really huge, not just for Tiffin, but the other brands as well. But you know, they don't have much to do in Alabama except watch our videos and read the comments. Yeah. And watch football. You know, yeah, football we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, <laughs> you know, in Alabama, when, when old Nick yeah. Saban ain't on, they're watching <laughs> after V reviews. That's funny. Okay, so uh, you wanna show us a Zephyr? Yep, let's do a Zephyr real Anything quick. else about this? I would just point out a couple things. Ceiling feature, okay, yes. all new for this model year. And also, this is the first time Tiffin's offered your a loft. Oh, oh yes. very nice. Yeah. Now, did you go to college? I did. Did you go to Alabama? I did. Roll <laughs> yeah. Hey, question. All right, is is your name at, at like Alabama? Are they like, oh man, another Tiffin here? Uh, um, yeah, it's definitely got a following, I yeah. guess you could say, right? Now, now, when you go to Alabama games and you see somebody in like a Newmar, is that like a sin? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, listen, you definitely have a lot more. You go to a Bama game. right. You go to a Bama game and you roll up in a new mar, like <laughs> you're done. <laughs> it's been done before, but we don't like it. Right? Oh my gosh! All right, so this will be the last thing I'll show you, Matt. Um, and then again, guys, we're gonna look at the Wayfair. I was say, check out our Midas 24 yep. MT. Yep. Our Wayfair, Wayfair, we've got the new JW. Yep. And, and the new RLW. So we did a review of the RLW, okay. and that that's gonna be coming out very soon for everybody. And if it's not already out, and that was a phenomenal unit. So ah. this is our 45 foot tag. We call it the FZ, full wall slide. Uh, this is actually a laser red exterior. I yep. love that Question. Paint job. Yeah. Question of the day, yep. see if you know this. Who did this first in 2016? Integra? Integra yeah. did yeah. this red yeah. with brown. Like when you hear the color red with brown, you're like, what are you talking about? But that laser red looks so good, yeah. and they took it away. Yeah, they, they, they don't do it anymore. That's why you need to tell us what you like and the like. Hey, right? that's what I'm saying, guys. And I, I, like I always red. remember seeing the Senecas driving down with that red. It looks so fantastic. Yep. So what is the Zephyr for people that don't know? Because we don't showcase Zephyr on our show. Right, right. So Zephyr is our flagship product, <clears throat> our ultimate high line, what I call ultra premium coach. Okay. Okay, this comes standard uh, with a 605 horse rear engine pusher. Um, it's it's the biggest and baddest tipping you can buy. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let me show you a couple things on the exterior. I haven't actually opened this. So, um, of course, we've got the exterior TV with exterior sound system on this coach. We've also got oh, the nice. Truma fridge freezer combination. And I would point out that all Zephyrs come standard with power nice. slide trays, right? right? A really nice luxury feature. And you'll notice, look at the carpet or the walls. It's actually not carpet. Okay. That's infinity woven material in the basement. Oh, nice. And in the cargo tray liners. So this stuff's impervious to water. It doesn't attract dirt and moisture and things of that nature. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, Lee. Yeah. It does look a lot better than the carpet. You know, <laughs> right. Comment down, dude. Comment down below because they're thinking about it. Noted. But, yeah, noted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, th I sure. think it looks pretty good. For sure. So. Obviously not in a Zephyr and a like robust, but you know the Phaetons and the the byways. <clears throat> All right. So this comes. Oh, and then look, you, you guys are doing the. Um, the, oh, uh, these, the these squared off yeah, windows. Yeah, look at the, the window. The other thing I would point out is the automotive style bonded windows. Okay. okay so really gives it a clean, sleek yep. look, squares it off. 
This, of course, has a multiplex system on the outside of the coach. Nice. Right? So you hit your special key code number, and you can control exterior lighting. You can lock and unlock bay doors, entry doors. Uh, you can check tank monitoring levels, lots of functionality without even having to have a key. By the way, this is not unique to Zephyr. Yeah. We offer this on some of our other diesels as well. Good, good. So, Take a look at the inside, Andrea. <clears throat> Oh, oh wow. my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Oh so my gosh. You said this we're is from so Alabama. Pretty. We're behind yeah. the times. Hang on a second. Uh -oh. to see that we can do the right. really modern, right. look, uh, contemporary look as oh, well. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is so, beautiful. So you'll notice with the bonded windows, right? It's very striking. Oh my you walk gosh. in and you see just how clean these these windows are. Now, what are these MSRP in for? Uh, this is MSRP in for around 950 This is beautiful. Yeah. So. Uh, love this um, black truffle yep. cabinetry color. That's what we call this. And then, of course, all the, the chrome ceiling accents, um, the chrome and the lambrequins. I love the way this buffet is done in the bedroom. You got right. the TV up high at eye level. <clears throat> yeah, this is actually a Blue Delta edition, so they make a neat uh, pair of I like the cabinets. You got that, yeah. that Euro style for the cabinets. Some of the gold hardware, pretty neat, huh? Oh, I, I love gold hardware. Yeah. That's what I have so in my kitchen. So how many of these are you selling a year? Uh, we'll do about 45 of these a year. Wow. Yeah. Wow, really don't do this is beautiful. One a week. They're all pretty much custom ordered. Um, rarely, if ever, would you find one in dealer inventory. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, especially like this. Yeah. These are very cool. It's actually a real granite countertop and backsplash. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, no. That Check so out this bathroom, dude. <laughs> Look at that wall right there. <laughs> Ridiculous. Right. <laughs> Fabric wall in there. So. That's yeah. pretty. So, when will some will something like this get passed down to a bus in the future, possibly? You know, that's always kind of been the the story behind the Zephyr, right? Right. That's like the product that we push the envelope. Exactly. Right. 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 And you see something like these windows. That I love are real these hip, windows. And you say, hey. Maybe that's a bus feature next year. Right. Yeah. For sure. Because yeah. how many buses are you pushing a year? We'll do Has a couple hundred. Of, uh, yeah, right. Yeah. Right. We'll do yeah. a few more of those. So. Now, now, what, what what's Tiffin's best seller? Is it the bus, the Phaeton? The... I would have to say right. Oh, so he the said Phaeton. he said the Phaeton. The Phaeton's the best seller. But again, very awesome, dude. Lee, thank yeah, you so man. much for thank having you, us today. Man. Appreciate you coming, guys. We're about to take a quick commercial break, and then we're gonna look at everything else. What do you want to wrap up and say to America, everybody that's watching? Tiffin's back. We're really putting our best foot forward. The focus at Tiffin is on quality, 100%. We believe that's how we're gonna win in the industry and uh, we wanna earn your business. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. This video is sponsored by 3-in-1 and their collection of easy to use products perfect for maintaining your RV. Today, we're taking a look at the 3-in-1 slide out silicone lube. This lubricates and waterproofs. It's anti-corrosion and extends the slide out's life. All you do is shake it up aim this spray it on and then it, you no need to wipe it off it will automatically dry so you just take it right here just like that thank you so much to three in one for sponsoring today's video make sure you get everything you need to maintain your rv by clicking our link down below let's continue the video yeah. all right and we're back andrea yes now, um, we did do a review on that Wayfair down there. It's a phenomenal floor plan that we're gonna share with everybody. But again, what, what I really wanna do in this video is just walk in and out of every unit. And Andrea, wow. You guys don't know how much I like that Wayfair down there with the rear lounge. And then I come into this one and again, they're just killing it. Wow. <sighs> this is different. You know, we were just talking to somebody off camera, Andrea, and they were talking about how Tiffin is really coming out of their shell. And they're doing a great job with young leadership. Look at this. Oh, look at this shower. Love this shower. Love this, shower. Love this floor plan. Um, See, you I know, like that balance. They have just been doing a really good job on um, on these units. <clears throat> wow, beautiful. Nice kitchen. Plenty of space for countertop. The Tiffin Wayfair does it on the Mercedes chassis. Um, Diesel Murphy bed set up right here, but Andre, even though it's a Murphy bed, you can tell this is a plush sofa directly across. You know, this is really in competition 
with those leisure travel vans and they're doing a great job. And they got that little thing there that you slide your tables in for when uh, you're sitting at the sofa. Yeah. That's awesome. And then watch your step down. Yes. And across the way is a Midas. Now, we just saw one of these at the dealership and uh, it was in and out It sold in 60 seconds. I so I didn't have a chance to do a full review on it. But this is a Midas. This is a very similar thing. It's a little bit smaller and cheaper and it does sit on the Ford Transit. And Andrea, wow. Even though it's not as nice as that Wayfarer, it's still very, very cool, very spacious. Again, the better than a B-Van, right? Oh my goodness. This much Way wider better. than a B-Van. You got all this space. You have an actual sofa, nice kitchen. Look at that rear oh bathroom. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> wow, this is a really good size rear bathroom. Absolutely. Radius shower. Oh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Very, very cool. Solid surface countertops in here. And again, this is going to be a little bit smaller and it's going to drive phenomenal because the Ford Transit chassis just work extremely well. We have really nice storage above, armless awning with wind sensor, full body paint. Tiffin is just killing it with these motorhomes. Okay, let's walk this way and then we'll take a look at the exterior of that Midnight Edition Fate. No, we have it. That's why I was asking. Hello. So look, they're doing the blacked out wheels, blacked out paint. Look at this. Yep, I was hoping they would do this. So this is normally chrome and they went with like this blacked out chrome. Looks really, really good. Again, I, I told Lee, when I see Allegro Boss, that's like the king. This is the night, you know, this is a mean, sharp, aggressive looking motorhome. Look at the front headlight designs. That's fantastic. And Andrea, call me crazy. Is this purple? It is purple. What the heck? I know, it's purple. Comment down below, let them know. <laughs> I've never seen a purple motorhome. Uh, I have. Um, Thor, they used to have a Venetian, the Venetian that was yep. purple, but it's not all purple. It's just like, no, see, like a little like, bit of purple. Right. It, it's so probably it's, like a purple that shimmers yeah, in the sunlight. Yeah, it's not that much, so it, it makes it look nice. Okay. Now we're going to come down here. And we will take a look at uh, an Allegro bus, and then an open road, and then the Allegro bay. <clears throat> Let's pop in here real quick. What is this, Matt? A bus? The Allegro bus. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, Andrea, let me tell you something. The Zephyr is better than the bus, period, end of story. But the Zephyr is also 300 grand more than a bus. So 200 grand, maybe 400 grand, I don't know. I'm going to say about 300 grand. And let me tell you something. This Allegro bus is still super I like Super. the colors in here too. Look how big this TV is, whoa. Got a nice fireplace there. Very nice, ooh, pretty bathroom. <clears throat> Wowzers. Yeah, this is great. That's your washer dryer, double vanity. And again, what I like to tell people is it's not about what's better. They're doing these, this is definitely, they're definitely updated. Right, it's not about which one's better, Zephyr's better. But the question that you need to ask yourself is, is Zephyr worth $300,000 more? Or does this accomplish everything that one does? And look at the slide. And you save the money. No different than this is better than an Allegro of uh, Phaeton. No different than the Phaeton's be better than the Allegro Red. So it's not about which one's better. It's just about finding that right combination of quality and price for you. All right, and now we're gonna take a look at this Allegro Bay. Andre, which one do you like, the CB or that one? I like this one. Yeah, these look really, really good, Andrea. I'm really liking what they got going on here. Let's walk on up. Oh man, very nice, beautiful. Again, they updated the interior. Oh yes, and now, this just came out last year. I remember the the wood colored in it, but this is nice. Yeah, now this does sit on the Freightliner chassis. Andre, this might this has been out for two years now. What it has came, it been? Or maybe like a year and a half. I thought last year what right maybe there. You're right. I don't remember. I just remember that weird looking brownish, yellowish color. Yeah. But this, I like the <sighs> the new the colors that they switched to. Yes, theater seats right here. This does look a little unique with it being raised up a little bit. 
nice um nice dinette you got solid surface standing table and ah, chairs this one has the bunk beds the on the ceiling this one has the bunk beds right there let me see real quick yes okay very nice good uh storage right here nice bathroom Hey, thank you to everybody that we met at the Hershey show as well that yes. uh, picked up some liquefy. Yes, thank you so much. Nice. I mean, Andre, we did this funny thing where we, we had people trade in their liquefy. And uh, if we could, bing, that's everybody. <laughs> or no, they traded in their toilet chemical to get liquefy. I remember. Thank, oh my God, thank it you guys. It was so funny. I didn't expect like that many to yeah. come with like half empty bottles, but I loved it. So. Hi, Jen. Hi. What do you think of this? <laughs> it's nice. Look, we, we came in the tip and display, and there's like no one in here. I'm like, just listen for this boy. Right. <laughs> like, past it, we hear it. <laughs> that, that's funny. Um, here's the battery. Okay. What do you guys think of this? Or no, it's in my bag. We, we only got one more to do, so you guys might as well just finish up with us. Okay. Uh, well, no, that's a radius shower. Don't need to stand in that. Okay. Uh, the last one we're going to is the Allegro um, oh, you do it. gas. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. You guys got to see the Zephyr. Okay. okay. Hang on. Oh. Follow me, America. Oh. Have you guys met Lee? Hi. It's Lee Tiffin. Hi. It's Will and Jen. They're on my team. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Hey, great. How are you? All right. You're I good. want to get your face reaction. Your real time reaction. <laughs> Yeah, that is pretty. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like I'm in a Star Wars movie. That's right. it's very cool, yeah, right? It's cool, I love that. Yeah. Right. We don't sell these though. Oh, this really? Is really cool. Yeah. Look at the big windows and everything. Maybe yeah. Back out the fridge. Yeah. Like it's not my style, but it's still really unique, and it's like modern. You know? Yeah. Oh, for sure. This is cool. For sure. Okay, we got to take take a look at the uh, Allegro, regular Allegro. <clears throat> You ready, Andrea? Yeah. Now, there's a new floor plan, I believe. Let's take a look. The open road? Yes. Well, I believe they have a new one with bunk beds. But I might be wrong. Yep, I'm wrong. Yeah. Let's take a look at this one. It's a super popular 36 LA. Take a look at it. And this is their only gas class A motorhome, period. Oh, and they changed it. Oh, I like that. Hmm. Okay. Look at all the cabinets. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's what I will say. So we told Lee that um they were a little old this fashioned. Is strange. And so then he brought us in the that Zephyr. Wall. Oh yeah. And he totally pulled like the There's reverse car. Pocket. Me, which is funny. Pocket door. But this is that older fashioned look that. Yeah. yeah Master for sure. bedroom. What did you guys do? Okay, we've got this. Nice. Master bathroom back here. Nice shower. Okay. Well, you got some good looking over here. Yeah, I got Master rear toilet. I think there's washer and dryer in there. Of course. Queen size bed. Ceiling fan. It feels, I don't know, a little claustrophobic in here in the bedroom, but new color for sure. Bring your ring. Andre, what do you think of this motorhome? Um, <sighs> I think it's different. <laughs> I think it's different. So right. Yeah, it's a little too dark for me, but um, you know, it, somebody will love the color. Here, well, come here. It's just too dark. Like too dark somebody for me. will love it. <laughs> See, I am loving the shoe-shaped dinette. Yes. And absolutely. this style actually works really well. If you if you look underneath, Andrea, um, at our legs, our legs aren't touching or yeah, whatever. Right. You know. Plenty of space with its telescope and steering wheel. And and again, just phenomenal unit at phenomenal price. Um, but guys, that's it. Well, wait, was there a regular shower there? Um, No, the shower was pretty decent. Go stand in yeah, it. Yeah, it was right. nice. Well, Will we'll has to stand in the shower while we're all here. I think like the entryways are kind of small though. Like oh, going right into here. the bathroom and into the bedroom. But I thought the shower was big. Yeah, it's decent. They got this little cover thing if you don't want the light in. Decent width, depth, actually pretty good height, especially if you open that. 
This definitely passes. Bing! Yay! There you go. All right. It's ruined. It's ruined. Well, guys, that's it. That's the video. Thank you so much, Will and Jen, for popping in. Thank you to Andrea for filming. And uh, most importantly, thank you to Lee Tiffin for joining us on this video. Yes. Hey, isn't he a handsome fella? Yeah, he's nice. I think, yeah. Half Southern gentleman. <laughs> Not right. Out there the wrong side. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much for joining us today. Guys, please comment down below. Tiffin, they're, Lee's watching the video. Their whole Tiffin team's watching the video. And as they said, they're back. And they're making some big changes in the RV industry, which is really, really awesome. And again, if you do want uh, Zephyr, just go to Tiffin's website. But again, most people are getting the bus, the Phaetons, the Wayfarers, these. Please reach out to our team. Go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. We'll link it down below. Our team nationwide will help everybody get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what do you want to say? Oh, I forgot it was one of those. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Um... Let us know what you guys think about these motorhomes that we looked at. You know, give us three things you like, three things you don't like. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Smash the thumbs up button. And yeah, we'll see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>